So I had a kind of whole intro plan of what we were going to talk about on this show today. But if I'm honest, the emotions have just taken over all of us. We're live here, defected Croatia. We're at the Garden Resort in Tisno. It feels like we have 5,000 people back in their natural habitat around amazing music, sunshine, and just wonderful people. It feels so good to be back. So whilst we're at the festival, we'll be delivering a live TV show just for you guys at home at the moment. Every single day we'll be delivering content, we'll be interviewing DJs, we'll be interviewing different people, the most important people at the festival, you guys who are here to enjoy yourselves. We'll be capturing moments on the dance floor and I'll be sitting here waffling away about how many great moments I had at the beach stage and the main stage and wherever else I find myself. So if you're tuned in on Twitch at the moment, give us a message, whatever you want to do, get involved. We'll be here for a little while still tonight, bringing you some wonderful stuff. But a bit earlier today, I had a little walk around the site and I thought I'd introduce you guys to a few of the different stages. Check this out. Yes, we can talk about the Olive Grove, we can talk about the main stage and shortly we'll head over to the beach stage as well. But there is something about a Croatia boat party. It just brings out the animal in all of us. It might be the setting, have a look around. Definitely something about being out of the water as well. But all week and every year that I've come here, I've enjoyed some of my favorite parties ever out on these boats. I've seen some amazing names and this coming week, we're gonna see a whole load more. The Shapeshifters and Purple Disco Machine. Today, we get to enjoy a glitter box boat party as well. And I can't wait to go and do it. Let's go and check out the beach stage. So as we make our way from the boat over to what might just be one of my favorite places at the festival. We make our way around here. So usually during the day, you'll see people kind of sunbathing, relaxing, doing their thing. And if you can see a big smile on my face, it's because the gentlemen behind me have just been doing a sound check at the beach stage. And my gosh, does it sound good. Right, I've witnessed some of my favorite sets here. I have also personally played one of my favorite DJ sets here ever. Glitterbox 2019, I could remember it. Whitney Houston, I'm your baby tonight. The lighting at this stage, which you probably can't appreciate at the moment, looks incredible. One of the most beautiful things about being on this site is that pretty much any minute, you could just bump into a random celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even feel worthy of being in this shot at the moment. Lucy Fizz, welcome back to Croatia. You look unbelievable, how are you? Thank you, Melvo. Uh, I'm so happy to be back. It feels amazing to be back here. The great thing is um, some people, if they're out of a sport for a long time, they kind of lose a bit of pace or something. But I arrived on the site last night and I could hear you over the music <laughs> at the Olive Grove roaring. How was the first night? The first night was incredible. I feel like I have a year and a half's worth of dancing to catch up on and like all that energy and excitement um, it's just been building and building <laughs> so this week is going to be a tornado I think. <laughs> I just one more thing I know we're in a rush I know you got to go we've got a boat party very shortly but you got to tell us about some of the outfits because you look amazing today man. Well thank you uh I, well I, I, it's not glitter box without any sequins really is it? <laughs> Well, um, well, you say that, I've kind of been pretty boring today, I better... Well, I have a few spare outfits in my room, if you want to come, <laughs> I'm sure we can dress you up to the nines, Malvo. Who knows, you may treat people later in the week, let's see. Lucy, go and enjoy yourself, we're going to keep things moving, see you later. Thank you, Malvo. Just continuing our little walk around the site here at the Garden Resort, Tisno, Croatia. Just to my right-hand side over there is the ocean, you probably can't see it at the moment. So far we checked out the beach stage, also had a little look at the boats as well. We're now at the Olive Grove and for me, if all of the stages might feel and kind of sound a certain direction, the Olive Grove is capable of doing the complete opposite and going left. Once again, enjoyed some of my favourite sets here. 2019, Seth Combo had such a vibe on this stage, playing some deep Afro house early, 6pm. I'm looking forward to tonight, I'll be playing here, the press play event as will Danny Crivet as well, and tonight we'll be mixing it up and playing some house and some disco. Who knows? Just going to enjoy ourselves. But without doubt, one of my favourite stages at the festival. Looking forward to this week. Let's make our way to the main stage. So now we reach our final stage that we're going to talk about today. Yes, we've checked out the Olive Grove and the beach stage and some boat parties as well. But here we are. 
somewhat the mecca of outdoor clubs. This is the main stage. As a DJ, it's terrifying. It's an ocean of people out here in front of you. Your set's got to be tight. It's superstars that play on this stage. Honey Dijon, Armin van Helden, Roger Sanchez. Yes, this is the place. This week, I cannot wait to enjoy some of the biggest names in dance music playing on this very stage. It's going to be big, and hopefully we can share some clips of it with you guys at home as well. If I'm honest, this all feels a little bit surreal still. So you just saw me walking you guys around the site at the moment, what it looks like, what it feels like. If you've been to the Garden Resort in Tisno before, you will know exactly what you're missing out on. If you haven't been here before, I really hope that gave you a bit of a taste for what it is and what it's like. I'm trying to keep my calm at the moment, but just to my right hand side, I can hear the main stage. I just heard Jamiroquai, Space Cowboy, the Morales mix just kind of fills you with joy everywhere you go around this site at the moment. If you have just joined us, welcome, hello, my name is Melvo Baptiste, broadcasting live at the moment from the Garden Resort in Tisno. This is of course defected Croatia and over the next week we're going to be broadcasting every single day, giving you guys some flavour as to what's happening right here live at the festival. Coming up very shortly, we have so much happening today. I'm going to be live with Mr. V. He'll be sitting right here. We'll be talking about all things music, what he's been up to over the last six months or so. Also today, we'll be speaking to Monkey. But right now, a bit earlier today, Roger Sanchez, after finishing his boat party, had a little catch up with the boss man, Simon Dunmore. I guess the thing that people should take from the fact that we are not sitting five meters apart doing this interview. Yes means that things are progressing yes they are um and uh, we have something to look forward in like to in life yes sir um and you have just played the rockinish boat party it was so much you know what the funny thing is the boat parties here are always fun every year i've done the under the radar boat party it has always gone off but the energy this year is very special people have been locked away for two years and the gratitude to be able to be together, sharing a space, sharing music, and just kind of being in the vibe and in the moment, it's on another scale. So, I mean, that's the sense that I have from everyone, because we, you know, everyone's needed something to look forward to, to, you know, to, yeah. to project that they're gonna meet their friends or they're gonna go traveling, they're gonna go dancing. And every time they get kind of close to it, it just got, Push, push further, back and push back. Away. So we had a, an announcement seven days ago that they were going to restrict uh, capacities and attendances in Croatia to a, to a thousand people. And we were like, Whoa. damn, we're in trouble here. Yeah. And everybody was like, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Miraculously, we got approval from the government, a special dispensation uh, for this event to, to, to take place. They knew how important it was to a lot of people and also to the local economy. Yes. We have a global audience, so they, they allowed it to happen and it's happening. And it's open air. And it's open air. I think that, believe it or not, is really probably the deciding factor because things that are enclosed have a lot less um, leniency whereas open air is at least a bit more acceptable, a bit less, you know, you're in, you're in the outdoors. So, but the energy, the, the, I can only imagine how that ratcheted pressure of like, is it gonna happen, is it not, is it? And then finally it happens and everybody's like, yay! But also it's like, people have had to travel the journey. I yes. mean, we have people from Canada, from California, from New York, from Japan, from Scandinavia, from all over the world that have made the journey. So you're going to make that effort. Some people have quarantined and you're going to make that effort. You're going to make sure you, you really appreciate the music, you appreciate the DJs. And that's what I've been getting back. That's what, you know. 100%. I think the, the biggest emotional feedback I got was just simply we're so happy to be here. Having been away from this, I think people now have another measure of gratitude that maybe they took certain things for granted and it's like, oh, I'll go to the next one or I'll miss this one. You never know what life is gonna throw at you. So every moment that you live on the dance floor is a moment you could cherish. And I think that's what I really appreciate about this and, and, particular crowd. And dance music has always brought people together. 
I yes. mean, you know, it brings people together. They make friends on the dance floor, life of music. People fall in love on the dance floor, etc. Right. So dance music and, 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 and the social aspect of dance music is, is really hardwired into people. Been taken away for 18 months, so it's it's just so emotional. For, it was emotional for me. I actually I actually self quarantined because I before I came out because I didn't want to catch COVID. I didn't want to get pinged by the yeah. NHS, you know, and not the be pandemic. able to. It was, so, <laughs> the pandemic. it was so important for me to be here. That yeah. I actually I, I actually I'm here, and for me it's an enormous release. So. Um, the atmosphere, the reaction, the appreciation that, that, and everything that you're getting back is it, it, great. It must have been really hard for you as a, as, a, as a touring DJ, as a working DJ. So now you have something to, you know, a, a, the future is opening up, yeah? What I appreciate more than anything, having not been able to tour for the last 18 months, um, is really the connection to people in different parts of the world. I think... For me personally, I've wanted to channel a little bit more of my time and kind of make it a lot more focused so that every single set, I always give 100%, but I think I appreciate them even more so. And I think that I feel the appreciation from the audience, which fuels my appreciation as well. And I think this is, after what we've gone through, we need this social gathering, this kind of celebration of being human and being alive. But you, I mean, you, uh, you know, and a lot of other DJs, but you know, like you, you were definitely leading the charge of being visible online yeah. and keeping connected to your fans and, and, and finding new fans by, by social media, but via Twitch, via Facebook, you know, like live streaming, YouTube was, was, was a really big thing. Um, and of course, we, we're speaking now and it's going to be on social media. Yes. And, for all of the people that are not able to be here, because you know we have a, a lot of people from Australia, we know that they they yeah, they've they been were unable down. to come yeah. and whatever. We just wanted to say that we miss you. We wish you were here, but we send our energy to you, and hopefully we can share some of the moments that we're having here, at least a little glimpse of it through social media, and hopefully very very soon we'll all be able to get together and dance so, so we look forward to seeing you all anyone that's not able to make it for whatever reason check in join us check the socials yes we'll see you uh, in 12 months time 2022 it's uh 2022. It'll, it'll be a moment it'll be another reunion so yes see you very soon on the dance floor yeah there you have it the boss man himself simon dunmore catching up with uh technically Maybe one of the most gifted DJs that yeah I've seen and is definitely here at the festival as well. Uh, welcome Twitch family, if you've just joined us, hello. If you've been with us since the start, welcome along as well. Right now, I'm joined by one of my favourite people. Hello. <laughs> hello. Mr V. Twitch fam, what up? Hold on a second. I think Mr V might have the freshest trainers on the entire Why? site. Oh, yeah. Can we get them? Can we get them in? Can we get them in? Can we get them in camera? Yeah. Unbelievably fresh. I had to come very espiritu <laughs> for this whole thing because uh, we kind of need that right now, man. Like with everything going on in the world, we need we need a lot of spiritual love. Spiritual you need to love. feel good. Yes, man. And honestly, being here feels good. It honestly does, man. So you, um, I haven't seen you. The last time I saw you, I think, was probably on site here. Yes. Two yeah. years, three years and the ago. The last time I saw you was on Twitch, and you had a shirt on. I keep getting sticker about taking my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you were on Twitch and you were doing your thing, man. Yeah, and you were yeah, keeping yeah. Everybody at home, just um, safe. It was a crazy time, right? I mean, you were the same, and you were doing your thing. How has it felt for you? So you're back here today. Mm. It's a lot of traveling, firstly for you. Where mm. is where is home for you? I moved to California about five years ago from New York City. Uh, I met this stunning girl who I love so much and I just decided to move to California and I just um, made it my home. I live in San Jose on the West okay, Coast, so it's okay. like 45 minutes away from the Bay Area. So shout out to everybody in San Francisco, San Jose. Um, and I just made that my home, man. So, it's a, I mean, it's a big move. We're here in Croatia. You're here. You're coming, to, you're coming to Europe. Um, for the benefit of the, the people tuned in at home, like this is a legendary voice of dance music. I don't want to say legendary, but legendary I, I, voice. Come yeah, on, we can no, do it. We can no, do it. We can I, do it. I, I, listen, Ro Robert Owens is legendary. 
I mean, Sylvester's legendary. Barbara Tucker's legendary. I'm, I'm almost. I, I, I'm, I'm. I hope I could get there. Well, I hope the good I thing is, you have people like me who be a voice of people like you because you're way too humble <laughs> and we can talk about how much you've done and how many dance or moments you've given us hey, how does how does it feel to be back in your natural habitat um it feels good but surreal um we've we've it's it's it feels good but at the same time it's like i said it's surreal because i know there's a lot of pain there's a lot of people who really want to be here and um you know, it's, it's, it's just a weird time. Like, I'm happy to be here, and I know that everyone's happy to be here, but it's also, for me, it's like it feels unfair to a lot of people that want to be yeah, here, and then they're yeah. going through their whatever they're going through. So, you know, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to see people smiling and, you know, just doing what they got to do and I couldn't you know, agree more. together. I couldn't agree more with what you've just said. It's that mixture of there's quite obviously pain out there at the moment yes. and you know that yes. and people are kind of putting themselves through that and enjoying this moment that, well, we, that well, we have he, together he, here's the thing here's the thing there's a silver lining to all of this though right the silver lining is is that we have everybody online watching and they're learning i didn't know much about you until we got into the lockdown right and then twitch became a personal living room for all of us every single person everybody even the guys that are filming didn't know who we were yeah, personally yeah. until lockdown and then we started shedding the time slots and we became <laughs> yeah. personal yeah. right by playing music that we enjoyed and we explained some of these songs okay so what you just said right there is the nail on the head for me. It felt like we were all in this rush of being in clubs yes. and playing main sets. Yes. And you end up kind of falling into a pattern of playing a certain way. Yes. Where when you got onto daytime streaming. You do whatever you want. The flexibility came back, didn't it? Yes. And you could be free again and play records that really mean a lot to you. And you, yes. And the pressure kind of went, didn't it? Oh, you had no pressure. Melva was playing records and saying, you know what? I remember when such and such played this when I was blah, 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 blah. And I remember vaguely, you started reminiscing about when you first heard records <laughs> and what it did to you and why yeah, it got you here. Yeah, yeah. And we didn't, a lot of people that are watching didn't know that and it's the same for me like if people go to my twitch and i start playing records and expressing records that i heard in the 90s people be like man he's old yeah <laughs> no, Do you know what or, or damn like i didn't even know that you, Do you know, know one I mean? thing that people probably don't appreciate and i'm so happy you touched on this how scary it was like yeah. you could stand there you, you yeah. you've stood on stages and you've performed to thousands of people mm -hmm. yeah. but having a camera in front of you and doing yes. it on twitch all it's, of a sudden just felt so different, didn't it? It was a different kind of pressure. It's, it, it is, especially when you pay attention to the chat room and you know, the chat room, they'll be brutally honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. a lot of the chat room, depending, you know, obviously of what's going on, it's all love. But I, 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 think, I think what's so great is that you can be as raw and unfiltered <laughs> as you want online yeah, yeah. and still people appreciate it. And yeah. I think that's what helped me here today. It's like a lot of people came up to me, oh, you know, V, I remember you from Twitch. You've been just fantastic, mate. You just kept me, blah, blah, blah. And they just kept going. Your London accent's really yeah. good. Oh, thank you. I practiced that for like so It felt like you practiced before you came <laughs> out. Right, um, we're live at the festival. There's so much happening this week. And I yeah. know there's so many DJs that you want to see perform live. Um, who are you looking forward to seeing? Um, I'm actually going to introduce John Summit. And... I, I actually came here on the same uh, uh, transport with John Summit to come here. And he, first of all, he's not 16. Whoever spread that rumor <laughs> that he's Crazy 16 rumor. Old, he's For anyone who doesn't 16. understand, he's, a, tw he's 27. There's a crazy rumor about John Summit that he's 15 years old. He's not he's, 15 years old. He's 27 and he's from the States. I believe he's from Chicago. That's right, yeah. And he's got like a number one record on Beatport. You know, he's doing his thing. He's a young cat. I love speaking to the young generation and and I love the fact when they love to speak to me and they know about me and then I start to break bread with them and then, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, he's, yeah. he's got such a good chip on, chip on the shoulder and, you know, he's, he's, he's not, he doesn't have an ego. And good. I love the fact that he's having fun. And this is the thing about house music that, that people should do, especially if you get involved in it, is have fun first. But we had a serious talk and I told him, you know, try not to get too oversaturated in it. Enjoy the moment, but take a break whenever you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, um, 
I, I saw Avicii's documentary on purpose because I can't just like just watch what I grew up with in terms of like the Paradise Garage. I have to watch all of it. If I'm if I'm house, I have to watch all of it. Mm. And I saw his documentary and and, and it, it hurt, but at the same time I learned a lot from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I yeah. understood what that man went through and and it was it was tough to watch sometimes. I agree, so, I agree, I agree. You know, seeing the young guys constantly doing this and I told them don't ever feel like you need to take a break. You're on top of the world right now, have fun. But if you feel like it's too much, take a pause. You are a voice yeah, that, I try the, to be. that the generation need at the moment because yeah, it's be. not easy out there for a lot of people. And I know a lot of people watch the glamorous side of what you do, yeah, but there's yeah. obviously a, 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 another side to it yeah, as well. It's, it's, um, it could really take a toll. Yeah, and it's all yeah, about yeah. listening to each other too. You know, I, I always take the time out to listen to anybody, man. You know, um, we, we can't be just bypassing people at this point, man. Everybody wants to be heard. Uh, before we go on to the next part of the show, um, once you finish up at the festival, you head back home, what does the rest yeah. of the year look like for Mr. V? In the lab studio. Uh, I got something with David Morales right now called uh, Every Day of My Life on his album. Amazing. Super big. Um, I love David. David is just an incredible person. We got another single called All The Feels. With oh, DJ the Ray, yes, yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah. Uh, Scotty P, and then I got something with Seth Combo. With, oh, we're great, talking about great. Um, For the I benefit of the people listening, Seth sat just over there. We can all see his smile, but we're not looking <laughs> over there at the moment. Yeah, man, Seth. Mr. Uh, Mr. Sondela. I, I, I want to work with him. Yeah, and, amazing DJ. Just, just uh, there's a lot of people that I'm working with, man. That I'm just sitting on projects oh, right now, wow. man. DJ Uch is another one, and then I have something on my label coming out. Seb Junior, uh, a day Chene. You know, we, we have something together. And lots then of course, and lots and lots of The main happening. man, Mark Knight, too. So, like we said, <sighs> one of the most instantly recognizable and important voices you, of man. dance music. Thank you. We're grateful that you're here. Of course. We're grateful that you joined us for the very first day as we're live on Twitch. I wouldn't miss on it our for bench the as well. Shouts to all the subscribers, man. Thank you for subscribing. Shouts to everybody dropping bits and love and all that, man. Man, love. Cool. Big love to Mr. V. Um, earlier today, we caught up with a few of, I mean, I say Mr. V's the most important. Don't forget the most important people are the people here enjoying the festival. We had some catch-ups earlier. Let's head over there now. After all this time, uh, to be there, it feels amazing, like meeting new people and uh, dancing and be on the sea. It's, uh, it's amazing. Okay, well, it, yeah. Exactly. Okay. It is my first time, but I feel like I'm walking into a community of people I've known forever. So I've like been following defected DJs since quarantine started hardcore, like listening to everyone's sets, loving every minute of it. And I just like, I'm so excited to be here. The setting is amazing. You can't ask for anything more. Like, look at this. Um, and there's just so many good people here. So overall, amazing first impression like what else could you ask for <laughs> you know yeah. um, the main we're excited stage. for Armin van Helden later we can't wait we're really excited it's been so long um, so we've just been like chilling out throughout the day and we're gonna wait till later on tonight and, um, and then we're gonna party hard aren't we girls yeah. yes <laughs> Woo! yeah welcome back twitch family uh, if you have just joined us we're of course live here the garden resort tisno defected croatia 2021 i know so many of us were not sure if it was even going to happen but yes we're here five thousand people and all the best music you could ever wish for we were just joined live with mr v i'll be catching up with him pretty much all week to be honest uh, but a bit earlier today we were joined by monkey and she gave us a little taste of her idea at the festival so today at Defected, obviously, I went for a nice little swim earlier today. I swam out to the jetty, had a little dance. Uh, I saw a few of the dancers on there. They looked amazing. And then I swam back and saw the Dunmore brothers and sat behind the stage and just watched their set. And here I am, spoke to a few of the, a few of the fans in the crowd as well. And I've just been walking around, basically just eating and periodically dancing and then eating and swimming and then dancing and then talking to people has been my day. <laughs> yeah, well, this is my first rave back in a year and a half, which is intense and amazing and surreal. And I, I wanted this to be my first one, actually, because I knew how amazing it would be. And I wasn't wrong and no one let us down. It is, it's phenomenal, phenomenal to be here. And I'm really looking forward to playing tonight. Um, and yeah, the vibes are just 100. 
how have I prepared for my set? I sat in my hotel room earlier and I didn't know what to play. I didn't know what to choose because it's been so long. So I basically sat there and went through loads of tunes and I was like, right, I've got 90 minutes to play your first set in a year and a half. Like, what do you choose? Basically, I've just gone for classics and, and bangers and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, big shouts to Monkey. Monkey actually presents a radio show how I wish I could present a radio show. She's got the best voice, just so calm as well. Monkey was on my flight on the way out here as well and I managed to miss her the entire way. Big shout out to Monkey, she'll be DJing later this week as well as we broadcast live from defected Croatia. So, if you caught up a bit earlier on today, you would have seen me talking about some like main stages and olive groves and beach stages, but I always say there's something about the boat parties that yeah, kind of take you to a different dimension. They're so much fun. A bit earlier today, I played the Glitterbox boat party with Luke Solomon, it was vibes. You kind of arrive on the boat and with all the best intentions, you think you're gonna get there and play a warm up set, but it just doesn't work out that way. You land and it just kind of goes crazy from the second you get there, there's so much fun. Um, also today we had the four to the floor boat party and on that boat we had Seamus Haji, the legendary. We had the boss man Simon Dunmore and we also had the legendary Mike Dunn. The importance of Mike Dunn to our scene sometimes goes unnoticed. Chicago being the birthplace of house music and Mike being there for the duration of it. He was born into it. He learned how to DJ in it as a kid on the block parties. Mike played an amazing set earlier today on the boat. After his set on the boat, he had a little catch up on camera. Here's what happened. So great. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of emotions going on, you know, the passing with uh, our Chicago brother, my friend, long time, Paul Johnson. And then, uh, you know, she said some kind words about, you know, the passing of my girl and, and March and how, you know, defected, we're a family and always checked on me, made sure I was good, just sending their love, well wishes, and just letting the people know that Defected was just more than just a label and a bunch of festivals. It's a family affair and they, they really do care about, you know, their artists. For me, it had two meanings. I, one, I wanted to get, like I said, the passing of my girl, so I wanted to get out of that element. I've just been in that house and it just reminds me of a lot of things. So this was a, a good getaway for me and then it felt good, you know, I see all the people out and about having a nice time. Should be wearing their mask, but hey. <laughs> hey, I'm wearing mine. Hey. <laughs> I don't trust Rona. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a typical defective festival, but it's a, you know, sin, not knowing if we were gonna be here in 2021 or 2022. So to pull it off in 2021 is a, is a beautiful thing. You know, it's, it's sold out, it's, it's, I wouldn't say that it's the same. It's a different vibe, it's a different feeling. People have more of appreciation for it being here because we didn't know if we were gonna be here, you know? So it's a different love and appreciation to be back out amongst your friends and to meet new friends. And, you know, we've been stuck in the house way too long. What I miss more about the clubs and the dance floors are just the interaction with the people. You know, we do the Twitch streams, we do, you know, all the YouTube streams and the, what, you know, things of that sort. It's not the same when you don't have people there that you can feed off of and vibe off of. And for a DJ, that's extremely important for you to have someone, you know, to basically play for. And, you know, you can tell if they're feeling this, if they're not feeling this, if it's good, if it's not good. And, you know, so you miss, you know what I'm saying, you miss the interaction with your, you know what I'm saying, with your crowd, with the crowd and the people. That's what I miss most, uh, you know, like we had today. The energy, you know, that fuels a DJ. The crowd fuels 
me and I feed off of that. So I, I feed off a of crowd's energy. Not having that, I'm just really just playing records when I'm screaming. I, okay, maybe this one. Okay, maybe that. Now I gotta look for emotes and emojis and see. <laughs> huh? Uh, I have. I mean, I'm doing Sheffield on Friday. I'm doing 51st State Saturday. I'll be back to do Faith uh, in London and then Defected London. And I'm picking up the loose change. So <laughs> what I mean about that is all the American DJs that's not coming over, I don't want to come over, I'm picking up that loose change. <laughs> A very warm welcome back. Um, during my four or five years at Defected and presenting the Glitterbox radio show, I've been fortunate enough to interview a lot of different people from the world of house and disco, legends of the game, current DJs, and just sometimes you meet people that touch you differently. And Mike Dunn is one of those guys. Um, Mike's such a special human being, and I'm so happy that Mike now being a, such a strong part of the Defected family and he's back out here and he's on regular shows in Europe is such a beautiful thing and I'm so glad the world can enjoy a lot more of Mike Dunn. He's also a very funky man as well so if you haven't heard Mike DJ you're going to be in for it in a few minutes time. Um, right we haven't got that long to run on today's session I hope we've set things up nicely for you today we've showed you nicely around the site if you've been here before you will know exactly what it's about if you haven't been here before hopefully we gave you a bit of a taste of that we're going to be here all week we're going to have loads of dj interviews we're going to have loads of guests as well so it's going to be exciting make sure you keep it locked but what we want to do for you next i spoke about the man himself the chicago don the dj the producer the man the myth mike dunn this is a piece of his set from earlier on the boat party.
there you have it, a little slice of the man, Mike Dunn, live today on the boat today here in Croatia. Um, I took a photo of myself a minute ago and I'm looking a little bit flustered and a little bit tired. I don't really know what I look like at the moment, but what I do know is that I've had such a good day. Defecting Croatia 2021, day one has been special. We've had two wonderful boat parties, four to the floor and glitter box, and the party's still going on. Just to my right hand side here, we've got the main stage party, we've got the beach party happening as well. So what I'm gonna do, not for myself, obviously, just for you lot, I'm gonna finish up here today and I'm gonna check out what's happening on these stages. And I can report back tomorrow, tell you what happened, which DJs were great, which songs they played. You're getting a slice of the festival in your homes. Tune in every single day, 10 p.m. Croatian time, 9 p.m. in the UK. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're back tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.